Hello friends and welcome. Today I have for you a quite cheap fountain pen from my collection. It is a Chinese pen. The model is uh, and the manufacturer is Hao Bang 96 Eight. This is, um, I believe, a model from the 1990s. It has a metallic body. It is quite a heavy fountain pen. At the top of the cap, it had um, a plastic clip. Unfortunately, it was broken. And um, the other parts, you can see that they hold... Um, on quite well we have this light gray part and um, we have this um, gold trimmings they are golden trimmings I don't think they are gold plated trims the cap is friction fit it uh, holds quite uh, securely Also on the cap we have this um, interesting pattern. It doesn't seem of high quality, but um, it feels no like no cheap fountain pen because it's a metal and not plastic. I've already shown you the band with how bang and 968 model the grip section is entirely made out of metal it has uh, this um, striation to it so um, here and here you can see it's a hooded nib it's a steel nib at the back we have a plain feed the barrel unscrews we can see also the metallic part i love this part but um, although the barrel is made out of metal i don't know if you can see but it has a plastic part here so when it unscrews it unscrews on the metal but the plastic is inside we have this classic classic um, aromatic converter which is clearly copied by the um, Parker 51 model we have how bang written on the lever we can push the lever inside it has I will try to open it to show you it's quite rough at opening but I can't manage it so we have the classical um, sack it is a transparent sack we can see that plastic tube inside of it this sack doesn't hold much ink but um, this is the design so we'll stay with it it unscrews and um, i will leave some measurements of this fountain pen on the screen and um, we will try to do a writing sample with um, it so stay tuned for the writing sample we will use as usual the parker quink we give it a little shake open so it's quite simple we merge the fountain pen in ink and we just pump
Okay. Let's see if it writes because this is the first time that um, this pen in, is in use after 20 years of sitting in a um, drawer. I recently discovered it. So, <clears throat> let's see. Let's see, let's see. This is a um, Okay, <laughs> it doesn't work. What a surprise. Let's see if it has some ink. Yes, it has ink, but you can see that I am gently pushing the lever. Not too much, because if I push too much, um, there will be ink. You can see at the back on the feed, the ink um, is uh, flowing. Give me a few seconds to, uh, to try to make it work. So I tried and it appears if I push on it, it gently writes. Um, okay, sorry about that so we have here a how bang pan sorry i forgot to put the pattern so a how bang a model 968 I don't know much about this fountain pen company. I know it's a Chinese fountain pen company made in China. I believe it was made around the 1990s. The middle of the 1990s, I don't know for sure. This nib is a steel nib. It's um, it feels quite stiff and um, um, it has a little bit of scratch to it. Not a <laughs> certainly not a flex one, but um, not a pleasant writer. It doesn't flow. It. Um, uh, it's um, like not uh, necessarily a scratchy one, but um, it is what it is. <laughs> I don't like how it writes, uh, but um, interesting fountain pen from China. A metallic build which lasted all this time. Uh, I don't know about this uh, goldish trimmings they tend to lose uh, their plating over time mm, not a good fountain pen it certainly is a cheap fountain pen made by an obscure fountain pen manufacturer you can tell me if you've heard of this how buying firm manufacturer uh, as always i wish you to have a nice day and uh, thank you for um, your time watching this small review